Now at 6 and streaming on CrossroadsToday.com, five people are taken to the hospital after a mobile home fire in Victoria. And we will show you how the governor did on election night in the crossroads. And the Salvation Army of Victoria needs your help with its Christmas kettle program starting soon. Cooler air is on the way. We'll talk all about it, but first, here's Gina. Reach the highest honor in the have more in sports. You're watching 25 News Now at 6. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Don Brubaker. And I'm Karina Garcia. A GoFundMe account has been started to help the family of Diego Martinez. Martinez, an 18-year-old Victoria West High School student, was killed in a one-vehicle crash Monday night. Victoria Police said the vehicle was traveling southbound on Main Street at high speed and lost control moving to the east before flipping over. Five people were taken to the hospital after a mobile home fire in Victoria early Wednesday. Three of the mobile home occupants were children. The Victoria Fire Department and Victoria Police Department responded to the fire, helping those people out of the mobile home. The fire was at 2501 Lone Tree, mobile home number nine. Officers responded and we were able to assist in removing two occupants out of the house. Once fire arrived on scene, the other three occupants were removed from the home. Uh, it was two adults and three children that were removed from the home. They were all transported to local hospitals uh, and I don't have any information as far as condition. The Victoria Fire Department is investigating the cause and the extent of damage of the fire. Calhoun County voters re-elected Hope Kurtz to her fifth term as Justice of the Peace Precinct 1. Kurtz won the only contested race in the county with 68.6% of the votes to 31.4% for challenger Democrat Luis Rubio. Rubio said the race was clean and ran professionally. Kurtz took a commanding lead after early votes were counted. Republican incumbent Mike Bennett received 57% of the votes received 57 percent of the votes cast to defeat Democrat challenger Mary Ellen Flores and the race for the Goliad County Judge's Office. Bennett wins his second term as Goliad County Judge. Republican Greg Abbott won re-election Tuesday night to his third term as governor of Texas. Governor Abbott dominated the voting in the crossroads, taking 73% of the votes in Victoria County, 76% in Calhoun County, 85% in DeWitt County, and 90% in Lavaca County. More of the same for the governor in Jackson County, winning 87% of the vote, while in Goliad County, voters had 79%, 79% of the voters cast their ballots for Governor Abbott. The governor held his election night news conference in McAllen, which is in Hidalgo County. Beto O'Rourke won that county with 59% of the vote. The Democrat nominee also won in the state's four biggest counties, Harris, Dallas, Bear, and Travis. O'Rourke also won seven of the 11 Texas counties that border Mexico. With 60% of the vote, Governor Abbott won Uvalde County. It looks like Republicans will expand their legislative majorities in both the House and Senate, though they fell short of taking some seats they targeted in this year's midterm elections. There are 150 members of the Texas House, and previously Republicans outnumbered Democrats 85 to 65. The Senate has 31 members, where Republicans outnumbered Democrats 18 to 13. Election day is over, but votes were still being counted in Harris County Wednesday afternoon. The Harris County Elections Office said by the afternoon, 99% of votes have been accounted for. That does not include mail-in ballots. This comes after a lot of confusion and several issues occurred on election day. Some of the polling locations opened later than scheduled, causing problems for some voters. Which, of course, brings us to your viewer poll this evening. But first, don't forget, come to crossroadstoday.com slash vote to participate in our polls. Viewers can also scan the QR code to get this poll, which is, by the way, right there on your screen. Now, the question is, are you satisfied with last night's election results for Texas? Yes or no? We go ahead and take a look at those results. 65% say yes. 
35% say no. Stay tuned for 25 News Now at 10 for the final viewer poll results with Don Brubaker and myself. And with that, I say we go to Howie Gordon for our forecast. Good idea. Thanks, Karina. Thanks, Don. Here's what we're looking at. Temperatures right now in the mid to upper 70s. So our warm weather continues here in the crossroads, but taking a good dose of it because it's going to be going away for a while in the next couple of days. Our winds, those, those kind of went away, though, already. We saw some gusts a few days ago, 30, 35 miles per hour. High pressure keeping things on the calmer side. Could see an elevation of these winds eventually when that boundary does come through the area. So tonight, staying in the 70s, maybe in the low 70s, but then overnight dropping down to right around 68 degrees. We'll see a little fog overnight. That should start to dissipate again tomorrow morning about maybe 730 or 8 o'clock. But we'll talk about our impending cool down coming up very soon. Don, Karina. Howie, thank you. Late Tuesday, a Hallettsville police officer on patrol in the 800 block of South Promenade Street saw a man with an active felony warrant out of Caldwell County. During the arrest, just over five ounces of crystal methamphetamine were found along with a digital scale and clear baggies. The man was arrested on his outstanding warrant and for manufacture and delivery of a controlled substance. The man accused of throwing two full unopened cans of hard seltzer at Senator Ted Cruz during the Astros victory parade on Monday appeared in court overnight. 33-year-old Joseph Arcidia Cono is charged with aggravated assault with a deadly weapon. The public defender questions the charge since she does not believe the cans meet the requirements of being considered a deadly weapon. Captain Kenny Jones with the Salvation Army of Victoria says that this upcoming Christmas season, your help is needed more than ever. Captain Kenny said the cost of rising and living has put many people in financial hardship, which in turn causes our Victoria Salvation Army to struggle to keep up with the need, which is why Captain Kenny is asking everyone to give this Christmas season so they can continue to help for everyone who needs it. The economy right now is very tough. And it's, it's that much more important that we need your help because uh, when the economy's doing great, folks aren't worried about putting a few bucks in the kettle. But when gasoline is, you know, $4 a gallon, and when their utilities are going up and when the cost of their food is going up, it's hard. Captain Kenny says that the red kettles will be going out within the next week. If you are interested in helping this year's Christmas kettle drive, visit our website at crossroadstoday.com. The Salvation Army Kettle Drive is this organization's main fundraiser for the year. On Thursday, Constitution Street will be reduced to westbound only traffic between Main Street and Bridge Street from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m., weather permitting for construction at a business in the 100 block of Constitution Street. All businesses in the construction zone will remain open and accessible. The Victoria County Public Health Department is administering seasonal flu shots. The flu shot clinic is on Tuesdays from 8 o'clock to 11 o'clock a.m. and on Thursdays from 8 o'clock to 11 o'clock a.m. and 1 o'clock to 5 o'clock p.m. The health department is at the Dr. Patty Dodson Public Health Center, 2805 North Navarro. The cost is $35 and Medicare is accepted. For more information, call 361-578-6281. Option three. Here's the top headlines you'll find in this week's Port Lavaca Wave. Calhoun County's VFW Post will hold a Veterans Day ceremony. The Port Lavaca Art Guild hosted its Arts and Crafts Show. The development of a master plan was approved during a special called meeting of the Calhoun Port Authority Board. You can read these stories and more at the PortLavacaWave.com. One of our co-workers at 25 News Now got to help in an event in Victoria this afternoon. This was a Texas Arbor Day event and Victoria Parks and Recreation invited residents to plant trees at the Victoria RV Park on Vine Street. 25 News Now Sports Director Gina, Gino Perez helped plant a crepe myrtle tree. They also had willows and a pine tree ready to plant. Earth Workers Nursery donated the trees. Texas celebrates this day on the first Friday of November, increasing awareness of the benefits and values of trees. Good job, everybody. Good job, Gina. All right. Stay with us. Coming up on 25 News Now at 6. Houstonian and WNBA star Brittany Griner has been moved out of a Russian jail. Also ahead, two people have been shot and killed at the Dallas Medical Examiner's office.
News Center 25 at 6 and 10 is also heard on KVNN 1340 AM, Victoria's News Network. There's never been a better time to control your power with a Generac Home Standby Generator from Generator Supercenter. For a limited time, with purchase and installation of your Generac Generator, choose $1,000 off or a free 10-year warranty. Choose freedom from the grid and choose your promo. This offer won't last long. Lock in your choice today with a free estimate only at Generator Supercenter, the nation's number one Generac Generator dealer. Piece of cake, whatever. Ah, speaking of cake, that reminds me of a bear story. Okay. Can I share it with you? <laughs> Ryan, when I came to work today, I said to myself, I hope Ryan has a bear story. <laughs> Next five, Caroline Ray and Stranger Things star Keaton Matarazzo. Plus, it's live's virtual road trip. And we're headed to the West Coast. We're taking our virtual van to San Francisco. Palace Bingo is open and our customers' health is our main concern. We installed UV lights in our building for your safety. These UV lights kill harmful germs in the air and combat COVID-19. Plus, our employees have masks on, hand sanitizer stations are available, and we have plenty of room for each of our guests to enjoy. We also sanitize the hall after each session. And don't forget, our UV lights keep the air clean. Palace Bingo, where friends meet friends and friends Palace win money. Bingo, where friends meet friends. From America's number one news source comes the all-new ABC News app. Breaking news, incredible video, faster, smarter, and it can customize to you and your interests. If you love being in the know, you're gonna love this. Experience what all the buzz is about. Experience the all-new ABC News app. Download it now. The two people killed in a murder-suicide at the Dallas County Medical Examiner's Office were identified by authorities Wednesday. The Dallas County Sheriff's Department said 46-year-old Beth Frost and 51-year-old James Frost were found dead of apparent gunshot wounds. The Sheriff's Office said the Frost were married but estranged. Beth Frost had been with the office, with the office as a medical examiner since June 2020. A Travis County judge said Caitlin Armstrong, the woman accused of killing pro cyclist Maria Wilson, will have her jury trial starting next June. Wilson was shot and killed in East Austin on May 11th. Police say Armstrong, who has pleaded not guilty, murdered Wilson. Judge Brenda Kennedy announced that the defense was not able to convince the court that Austin PD detectives acted unconstitutionally. American basketball star Brittany Griner from Houston has been sent to a penal colony in Russia to serve her sentence for drug possession. Griner's legal team said she left a detention center on last Friday for a common type of Russian prison where detainees work for minimal pay. Her lawyer said Wednesday that they did not know exactly where she was. Occidental Petroleum's profits had a big increase in the third quarter. The Houston Oil and Gas Company said it made $2.5 billion during the quarter ended September 30th. Revenues rose nearly 40 percent in one year. After losing $15.7 billion in 2020, Oxy began to turn a profit again last year thanks to rising oil prices. State Comptroller Glenn Hagar announced today he will send $1.1 billion in local sales tax allocations for November. That's 7.1 percent more than in November 2021. Cities, counties, transit systems and special purpose districts will get these allocations, which are based on sales made in September by businesses that report tax monthly. Twitter's new owner and Tesla CEO Elon Musk has sold nearly $4 billion worth of Tesla shares. Musk, who bought Twitter for $44 billion, sold 19.5 shares of the electric car company based in Travis County from November 4th through Tuesday. Musk sold $7 billion of Tesla stock in August, and he has sold over $19 billion of Tesla stock since April. All right, grab your cell phone and scan this QR code. This is our quick response code to download the Crossroads Today app. You can get breaking news alerts and vote in our viewer polls, get the latest news, weather and sports, and learn all about our ongoing contest. You can also submit news tips, videos, and photos. Howie? Thanks, Karina. Cooler days for the Crossroads. We'll talk all about it. Get that great back, I feel. Fall.
all in the savings all month long at Magpie Victoria. 2021 Ford EcoSport, only $2.98 a month. For details, go to Magpie Ford in Victoria. MagpieFordinVictoria.com. This Saturday, you could drive home a winner with cash and a brand new Chevy Silverado in the $100,000 full cash and truck giveaway. Hourly cash drawings start at 6. Then at 11, one lucky player will win a brand new Chevy Silverado $1,500 and $6,500 in cash. The $100,000 full cash and truck giveaway. Saturday at Cachada, Louisiana's best bet. There are flavors that transport us to Mexico. Like tacos al pastor from traditional taquerias, tacos de pollo, or tacos de bistec, seasoned to perfection. The H-E-B Mi Tienda Diced Meats and Fajitas are inspired by the flavors you love. Perfectly seasoned with sabor and corazón, and ready to prepare at home. From our kitchen to yours, enjoy the authentic taste of our H-E-B Mi Tienda Diced Meats and Fajitas. One more reason here, everything's better. Kimberly and Angel lost their 10-year-old daughter, Amory, in the tragic Uvalde school shooting. She'll never know I was trying so hard to get in there. The friend who tried to save her. She said, they shot my best friend. She said she was laying there, not breathing, so she hugged her. While saving herself. She smeared blood on her to make it look like she had been shot. A Dr. Phil exclusive. No matter where you call home, you deserve reliable coverage. At T-Mobile, we cover your town and 99% of people in America. And now, for a limited time, with T-Mobile's hometown discount. Families and small businesses who switch at a local store get 20% off. That's 20% off unlimited talk, text, and data for the life of your plan. Plus, with our T-Mobile price lock, we guarantee we won't raise the price of your rate plan. Get T-Mobile's hometown discount today. Fall in the savings all month long at Magpie Victoria. 2021 Ford EcoSport, only $2.98 a month. For details, go to Magpie Ford in Victoria. MagpieFordinVictoria.com. All right, that's right. Dark skies. Here we are about 6.15. Sun went down an hour ago. Starting to see a little cloud cover here in Quero. Could see some fog overnight, not till later, then maybe dissipating 7, 8 o'clock in the morning a beautiful shot out there in Quero. what happened today 85 degrees another warm one here in the crossroads minimal uh, rain yesterday nothing in the forecast today in terms of any significant rainfall here's our dew points we need these to fall and they are a little bit when you get away from the water but still unreasonable 60 plus or usually 65 plus is what we're looking at then you get closer to the coast we are in the mid 70s so uncomfortable in terms of our humidity and moisture levels. All right, here's our wind speeds. Yeah, these have gone down, really not too breezy. High pressure just keeping things nice and relaxed across the area. A few days ago, we were seeing some stronger gusts, but for now, winds on the lighter side. That could change. When that boundary comes through on Friday, that could elevate our winds. Okay, in the orange, it's the dry, the lighter, the white, the gray, the blues, the purples. That is a more moisture-laden environment. We are seeing that low-level flow of moisture pushing in from the Gulf. That's keeping our dew point temperatures on the higher and unreasonable side. But we're going to see cooler air knock all of that down in a matter of days. Okay, I was talking about it the last couple of days. High pressure is starting to move off, but that clockwise rotation is still pulling that low level moisture in from the Gulf. Again, keeping those dew points on the higher side brought us some rain yesterday, drier times for today. But as that high continues to move off, it's going to allow those storms to push in from the west, from the plains, from the desert southwest. And as they inch, inch closer to us, we can start to see showers out ahead of this boundary, along the boundary, and even behind it. But most notably, after that boundary does move into the area, or through us for that matter, what's coming in behind there is that cooler, dry air from the north that can knock our temperatures down really from the upper 70s, low 80s, into the upper, lower 60s to upper 50s. So, going to be a fall chill down for sure Friday and into Saturday. And right through the weekend, we can stay on that cooler side. Here's our future tracker. Here's what we have. I'm not looking at those showers until that boundary starts heading our way. And here it is. Yeah, we can see some, some significant rainfall as that boundary pushes through. But as it exits the area, hey, then starting to dry off once again. And that cooler air will push in as well. Here's our marine forecast. Water temperature 82 degrees. Seas 2 to 4. Occasionally up to 5. 
That'll keep our bays on the choppy side. Okay, that storm out there near Bermuda, that is why that one is gone. But now, Hurricane Nicole, that is right, by about 1 a.m. Sat a Thursday morning, that storm could hit the east coast of Florida, continue on its way up through Tampa, and eventually shooting off towards the northeast. And I guess, once again, away from Texas. But we'll keep our we'll keep uh, Florida in our prayers tonight. 70s overnight, dropping down to 68 degrees. Yeah, we'll see some fog late night that will start to dissipate maybe during the early morning hours, 7, 8 o'clock. Tomorrow, 81, mostly sunny. Looking ahead to Cuero. Here's what we got. Look at that cool down over the weekend into the 60s. And then in Port Lavaca, ooh, into the 50s. And in the 50s as well here in Victoria after maybe some showers Friday into Saturday. So, yeah, cooler weather in store for us. For more weather, news, and sports, go to our app. That's at crossroadstoday.com. And that is free with any Android and iPhone. We send it back to Karina. Thank you, Howie. And now here's sports director and tree hugger, Gina Perez. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Area athletes are running to make a prestigious team involving the entire state of Texas. See what I mean after the break. We often have questions from other friends that want to know why we go to a wellness doctor. And I can tell you why. We have been going to Dr. Lay for 16 years. We don't live in Victoria, but we'll drive because she's worth it. When you establish a trust with a doctor like we have, problems that we had 16 years ago have disappeared completely because we listen to her. She knows what she's doing. We have experienced her hormone treatments. We can vouch for the pellet system, which we both did. We have also lost a lot of weight through her program and advice because we eliminated sugar the culprit for everything. We feel that her advice has made us strong senior citizens. Thank you, Dr. Lay. Giddy up. Cause next Kelly, we are going cowboy. I love a cowboy hat, yes. It feels like home. From Yellowstone, Luke Grimes and Wes Bentley with a sneak peek of the new season. <laughs> Plus, country star Walker Hayes. He's performing his new song on our stage. And this November, the biggest names are coming right here. Let's do it, y'all. Victoria All Sports is a family-friendly gun shop with everything you need for your next hunting trip. Not only do we carry the most popular brands of handguns, rifles, ammos, and reloading supplies, but we also carry the largest selection of deer blinds and feeders in the crossroads. Whatever your camping or outdoor needs are, we've got the best cast iron cooking supplies, knives, apparel, and boots available for the entire family. Victoria All Sports, located at Houston Highway, right here in Victoria. Hi folks, this is Leah at Full of Pep. Our ladies boutique has you covered from head to toe and top to bottom for any occasion you might have. From concerts, to date night, the rodeo, or a girls day out. Even family pictures, just check this little guy out. Come see us at 1551 North Esplanade in Cuero and we'll get you outfitted for whatever your occasion is. Howdy Crossroads, the Shiner Comanches are state champions yet again, but in a sport you might not expect. The 2022 state marching band champions are the Shiner Comanches. The announcement came late into the night last night as the Comanches performed last at 9 o'clock. The band performed at the Alamo Dome in San Antonio, and they have experience playing in front of big crowds and in clutch moments since they have been there every step of the way for the Shiner football team, which has won back-to-back -back state championships. The city of Shiner is planning on having a parade for the marching band tonight at 815 in the Dollar General parking lot, which will continue throughout the rest of the town. Congratulations, Shiner. Ten area high school football players have made the Dave Campbell's Texas Football Whataburger Super Team ballot. Leading off the group are two All-State running backs and Reuben Owens from El Campo and Dalton Brooks of Shiner. Five Goliad players are on the ballot, including running back Braylon Perry, defensive back Colby Rosenquist, running back Joseph Council, quarterback J.P. Reyes, and offensive lineman Colton Duvall from Cuero, quarterback Mason Notaro, and 
Linebacker Zyler Jones made the ballot as well. And industrial quarterback Ashton Garza. All of these teams and players are in the playoffs. On the opposite side of the spectrum, the Victoria West volleyball team is out of the playoffs. The Lady Warriors put up a valiant fight against the Mission Sherry Lynn Diamondbacks. West lost in three sets. Head coach for the Lady Warriors, Elisa Hill, said the team, we have a group of girls that are great leaders on and off the field or court, and they have helped the team bond together, and she is excited for the young group of girls that are already in the program. West finishes the season 28 and 10 overall and 8 and 1 in district. The Victoria East Titans softball team celebrated with one of their own last week as Brooke Escalone signed her letter of intent to play at Galveston College. The high school in high school Brooke plays everywhere including catcher, first and third base and in the outfield, which is why she'll be a utility player in college. The 17-year-old has been playing since she was 8 and is excited to play at the next level while getting an education. Brooke wants to study business administration and is looking forward to the next adventure. Houston Astros manager Dusty Baker has finally accomplished his goal of winning the World Series as a manager and will be looking to repeat in Houston again next season. The 73-year-old signed a one-year contract with the Astros for the upcoming season. According to ESPN, the new contract agreement didn't take long. It only lasted about 15 minutes to finally agree on something. The Astros defeated the Philadelphia Phillies in six games to win the second MLB title for the city of Houston. This will be Baker's 26th season as a manager. Well, that's your sports, Don and Karina, back to you. Gino, thank you, and we're back in a moment. The International Space Station gets a delivery of much needed supplies from NASA. Texas, now's the time to gear up and save on a new Ford SUV. Get great deals on our most capable lineup, like the spacious and tech-savvy Ford Expedition or Ford Explorer and Bronco Sport, both rated 2022 IIHS top safety picks and both designed to give you greater confidence. Choose in-stock or custom order select Ford SUVs and lock in 3.9 for 60 plus 500 cash plus complimentary maintenance. Ford is the best in Texas. They left him there to die. You needed a miracle. We needed a miracle. To solve this case. Is this a case of divine intervention? God he loves all his children. Even a killer? 2020 Friday night on ABC. Thursday, Catherine McPhee Foster is bringing the hottest jewels. Buzz comedian Miss Pat dazzles in my laugh lounge. Get ready to hear this. Tonight, the CMA Awards is live. Tonight's a wonderful evening to sing together. Your favorite stars take the stage with a tribute to Alan Jackson. With performances by Luke Combs, Reba McIntyre, Cody Johnson, Cole Swindell, and more. Plus, one-of-a-kind collaborations you'll only see here. You will not want to miss this. Luke Bryan and Peyton Manning host the CMA Awards live tonight on ABC and stream next day on Hulu. Came around the corner, I seen they had trailers broken in half on the ground, windows blowing out. It was horrible. When I made the curve and I seen my house standing, I was excited. No damage from the hurricane at all. I was totally, totally blessed. This is what you were going to be doing for the wedding. Yes. The things that are on these pages. Right. This bride's reception left her with a bad taste. Set up? No. no. Service? No. no. Did you provide a bartender? Yes, Your Honor. No. No. Your Honor, just I... shh. Now the caterer's fed up. She told me, if you don't pay me $5,000, I'm going to go and write the Yelp, and I'm going to write about you. Judge Judy. Finally tonight, a Northrop Grumman capsule has delivered several tons of supplies to the International Space Station despite a jammed solar panel. The shipment arrived today, two days after launching from Virginia. Only one of the cargo ship's two round solar panels opened following liftoff. Flight controllers tried in vain to open the stuck panel but were able to draw enough power with just one. You know, some people get their shipments from UPS or FedEx. <laughs> 
NASA, you got to send a whole satellite up there, but it's important to do Crazy. that. Crazy, it's guess. more expensive, I bet. That delivery fee. Uh, a, a, a little bit, <laughs> but uh, but they're always on time. Ooh. I was going to say yeah. Dependable, I, really I, I think so. They better be up there <laughs> because where else are they going to go get some stuff on their way up there in space? <laughs> absolutely, absolutely right there. All right, Don Carino, let's take one last look. Here's what we have. So, Hurricane Nicole headed into Florida, maybe about 1 a.m. time period, going to land in the east coast of South Florida and then make its way up the Gulf Coast side of Florida. The Gulf, yeah, yeah, but not our side of the Gulf. And then head off to the northeast. So, again, Get lucky here in Texas. 70s for tonight. Overnight, you can see a little fog start to develop. That will dissipate tomorrow morning. And after that fog starts to dissipate, here's what we have. Lots of sunshine with a high of 81 degrees. Looking ahead to the rest of the week. The countdown continues. That's right. We are looking at some cooler times dropping into the 50s right through the weekend. Don, Karina. Thank you, Howie. And thanks for joining us. Remember, we're streaming 24-7 Crossroads Today Plus. And we hope to see you back here tonight for 25 News Now at 10.